and you have to do it the same time. You can't be measuring both pressure at times standing up, at times lying flat. It has to be the same way, okay? So you have to be sitting on a chair and your back is completely resting, okay? And your legs are not crossed and your feet are touching the ground, both of them, completely touching the ground. Your legs are not crossed. Your, your arm should be resting and at heart level. How do you know it's at heart level? You do this. This is where my heart is and it's resting completely i'm not holding up with any muscle i'm not trying you know my muscle is not doing any of the work in my arm and it's not all the way up or to end below if you're measuring blood pressure and it's just dangling it's going to be lower than what it actually is and if it's higher it's going to be higher or, or lower when it then it actually won't be accurate in, in if it's too high or too low okay you have to have it at heart level and i like the omron it's called o-m-r-o-n omron blood pressure cuff and it tells you where the elbow is what where the shoulder is so shoulder is up elbows is, is low and it has an arrow for where the radial artery is the, the radial artery is usually here to, you know this is where it is um not, not 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 at the bony part of the elbow but here in the meaty part and Ideally, you should not be wearing, you should not have a shirt, you should have no cloth underneath it. And you just, you know, where the arrow is. Um, yeah, so this is where it should be. And it should be the correct, correct size. And it should be measured while it's on heart level and completely rested. And when you're measuring, it should be in specific times it should be the same time every day twice a day in the morning and night don't measure your blood pressure immediately in the morning because that's where you have cortisol spikes and your blood pressure is likely to be high from the high cortisol so measure it about 30 to 60 minutes after you wake up assuming you're calm and you're not just about to go to work and you're 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 nervous about going to work and before you eat eating decreases blood pressure and it should be before you drink any caffeine or coffee because coffee increases your blood pressure. And at night, make sure you measure your blood pressure after dinner by 30 minutes or 30 minutes after drinking uh, caffeine or smoking cigarettes or even wait longer, 45 minutes after um, you do any of those activities. And you should do that for at least two weeks. And it's if it's persistently higher than 139 over 89, then you definitely have high blood pressure and you should incorporate lifestyle changes